Hi everyone, I'm Stefan Bradl. Welcome to Honda Racing TV. In this episode, we're coming to you from the Honda Safety Institute in Barcelona, where over the last 20 years, nearly 200,000 riders have become safer, more advanced motorcyclists. Episode 10 sees us take a look at the Honda Fireblade as it celebrates its 25th anniversary in 2017, marked with an all new model that's racing across the world. In this episode, we spend some time talking to Red Bull Honda World Superbikes team's latest signing, Moto2 World Champion, Stefan Bradl. We take a look at the first instalment of Road to Race, the journey from production Fireblade machine to championship competitor. And we recap the first race of 2017 of the Endurance World Championship at the 24-hour moto of Le Mans. Stefan Bradl joined the Red Bull Honda World Superbike team for the 2017 season. The German 2011 Moto2 World Champion has returned to Honda and the Fireblade CBR1000RR for his maiden World Superbike season. We caught up with him at the Aragon test earlier in the year to discuss switching series and more. I enjoyed the, the move uh good because I uh, feel directly comfortable with the team and everyone so it's a different category here and uh, also a very different bike to, to what I experienced in the past but overall the team is a very professional one and obviously we have a lot of work in front of us but I think that we can make a good uh, thing out of this project. The, um, the difference in World Superbike Championship is yeah like schedule wise it's different like Every single detail is a bit different, like the bike, teams and um, the tracks, but obviously uh, also very similar points to compare with MotoGP. And um, I would say that the schedule during the weekend is a bit different, having two races on a weekend, it's going to be very stressful and tight during the weekend, but um, I adapted already quite good, I would say, and uh, yeah, I would like to, to race more and to yeah, bring the bike forward. The main difference like you know tires, engine character, electronics, everything is a little bit different. I mean uh, for me it was uh, kind of difficult in the beginning to adapt to the tires but then as I had a couple of laps and uh, days on the bike I was able to adapt better so with the tires I don't have so much problems any anymore. Um, still electronic wise and you know how to ride the bike so small things I, I still need to learn, of course. Yeah, next to me, my crew chief, William, and uh, he's basically the most important guy for me. When I'm back in the garage, talking to him directly, speaking what I want to change on the bike, and uh, he's writing down everything, discuss, discuss it with uh, the other guys of electronics, and uh, yeah, he's the, the guy taking care about everything in my side. And uh, yeah, it's, it's nice to work with the guys, and uh, trying to improve the bike session by session. That's, uh, that's our job. Well, it's quite a big difference between testing and racing. Uh, the racing is a pressure. When you are on the racing weekend, you have a lot of pressure. The schedule is very tight, and uh, especially on Friday, you have to be on the, on the plan directly, which is not easy always when you have weather conditions uh, changing and everything. So um, basically, Testing is you have all the day long free for you. You can change something on the bike and you can play around with it, everything a little bit. Where on the racing weekend you have like just two sessions and uh, you have to be ready and, and fast directly. So it's a different approach of working. The way of riding the bike is similar. You just go out when you have a test plan and you don't push at 100%. You, you just go there step by step and you, uh, you approach it uh, a little bit different. 
um, but on a racing weekend you have to be from zero to 100 directly. And um, But riding wise you have to adapt a little bit to the changes when they make something when, when we are having a test plan. So definitely there is a lot of work also for me on track. Going from the road to the racetrack, next up we have the first instalment from behind the scenes of what the Honda team do to turn a production fireblade into the machines that are this year being raced by the likes of John McGuinness and Guy Martin. Honda Racing has been based in Laos since 1990, basically. We moved in, I joined Honda in late 89. We lost the workshops not long after I joined, down in Chiswick in London. So we moved all the racing team up here to Laos in an old clothing factory. We worked there for approximately 10 years, until 1990 when this purpose-built building was built. And this is where the, um, all the operations we've done ever since then, all the road racing activity and all the BSB activity. <laughs> We've won four world championships, one in Formula One and three in World Superbike. We've also had 62 Aleman TT wins, 57 World Superbike wins, I believe something like 60 BSB wins from this premises and four BSB championships. Yeah, I think all the teams are excited on both sides because basically we've waited eight years, as you know, for a new Fireblade. New Fireblade is very important for us. The guys are, uh, they've got them all here, they've taken them apart and analysing what's what on the bike, going through it. So since the bikes have arrived, we've gone through, they've all been pulled down and we've looked into every single different part and checked it versus last year's bike. Engines and uh, the whole bikes have been on the dyno, so we've done some really good testing, um, evaluating the gap between last year's bike and, and this year's bike to understand uh, where we need to do the work. We know that the cylinder head has had a lot of work and development done at Honda, um, on the SP2 especially. Um, it's built to be tuned, um, so there's a lot of potential in that. But even in the stock format that when we tested it, it was putting out some great figures already. So there's a lot we can do with that moving forward as well, which has been great. The SP2 that's arrived is much, much closer to a race bike than what we've had with the previous model. Um, the revisions to the cylinder head and the piston and these sorts of things mean that we have to do much less than we had to do to the 16 bike to get it at the same level. And then the electronics take it on that another step completely further on. Here it is, the eagerly anticipated new bike for 2017. I'm, uh, I'm so excited, you know, it's uh, we had so much success and I've been in the start with this uh, Fireblade project for years and you know 2008 was the last time we had a new bike so we've had some fantastic success on the old bike and here it is you know it's more power, lighter, you know it's uh, it's the SP version so uh, it's like a, a, a built racing bike so there's only 500 of them made so it's uh, all the things we've asked for with this bike they've, uh, they've delivered. It's great seeing the guys today, their first impressions, seeing on the bike, sitting on the bike and seeing it for the first time. You know, it's like anyone that's a bike fan just sort of go up and sort of just touching it gently to start with and then, you know, asking permission if they could throw their leg over and sit on it.
certainly I think the new bike is, is going to be an absolutely superb machine and certainly both in super stock trim and super bike trim I think it's going to have a lot of success and we're all looking forward obviously winning lots more races for Honda and hopefully lots more championships. So the guys are all running around very busy getting the um, getting everything packed up into the trucks so it's all going in a bit like a Tetris game at the moment to make sure we've got absolutely everything and we've had all the riders in again and we've been telling them what we found out and the new figures and this sort of thing and it's been really positive. They're all coming in, smiling and can't wait to get out to Monte Blanco testing. They're really motivated and just can't wait to get out there now and we just hope the sun's going to be shining. And now for the first Endurance World Championship round of the year with our race machines, the gruelling 24-hour moto of Le Mans. After adversity at the start, Honda Endurance Racing dug deep to fight their way through the field. Let's take a quick look at their weekend. Anybody being up for 24 hours is uh, hard enough work, let alone racing around a motorcycle track for uh, 24 hours, you know. I was waiting this moment since maybe six months, you know. Today we have a little bit pressure, but it's a good pressure, you know. We are, we are really looking forward to, to start the race. I never like to make predictions on these. It's a lot of distance that we've got to cover. Beginning of the race, Freddie got a great start himself, running to the line. He jumped on the bike and um, it was in neutral. He tried to pull away in neutral and went to put it into gear and it broke the chain adjuster and the chain jumped off after that. if we can get top 10 after the first problems that we had. did a great job in diagnosing exactly what they needed to do, got it back together and it went out and it was really strong and the riders were really strong.
This was the first race for the Fireblade SP2, and the potential that this bike has got is great. Um, the whole team are, are buzzing off it, and especially the riders, and that's lifting us all sort of in a synergistic way, which is great. Well, that's it from episode 10. Thanks for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed the ride. Stay tuned for more episodes of Honda Racing TV right here on hondaproracing.com.